So, something really cool today, um, here with a good buddy of mine on his family's farm. Mike, what's up, dude? Hey, man. And he's building his house here. Here, take a look around. And so it's a metal house. And so there's pros and cons to all the construction types. But what I found and what I think you'll find fascinating is the foundation on this particular build. So <clears throat> we're in North Texas, Northeast Texas, where we've got this thing called the Blackland Prairie. And a couple of uh, shorts ago, a couple of short videos ago, I explained how it's a super rare soil type. And if you're doing a concrete foundation, then it's not if your house is gonna shift uh, and you're gonna have cracks, it's when. So there's really, I mean, you can try to put, you know, st uh, uh, spring, like, like coil up the, the rebar as you're, as you're pouring the concrete to kind of make it stiffer. Um, there's a name for that, I forgot what it is, but, but really it's still gonna move. But this way is the only way it won't move. So I'm gonna show it to you and then if, uh, have Mike explain it a little bit better. Here, hold on. So here under the house, if you kind of take a look around, you see there's piers <clears throat> kind of coming out from the ground. Now these are metal piers. And here, look at this uh, footage, look at some of these pictures of, of, they're called helical piers. Look at some of them so you can kind of see what they were like before they go underground. And then here you can kind of see how it comes up. You know, the pier comes up and then you put a plate on it, a cap, and then that welds into, you know, huge I-beam and then you've got your joist, the C-channels holding it all together. But, um, so Mike, why did you choose this foundation style? And, and what can you tell us about how it's put together? Yeah, so I think one of the big factors was uh, the cost savings. So I spent about three months researching foundations on expansive clay soils, and I really couldn't come up with a solution. Um, I called some people, looked around. Uh, helical piers were the best, uh, were one of the best ways to do this, in my opinion. Um, you didn't have to worry about uh, the expansive soil at that point. Um, it's not going anywhere. It's it's hitting rock and. Uh, it was probably 50% cheaper, so that's why we went with this. So there you go. So, so you might have a curious mind like mine and go, wait a second. You, got, you still got a pier in this soil that moves. So what's going to happen? Like right now it's been, I don't know, 70 days or something like that in Texas this year before we had any real measurable rainfall. And so it's super dry, the, the ground's cracking, we get you know, 12, 15, 18 inches down in the soil, it's, it's ripping apart, all the organic matter is going in there. And so that's, going, that's happening, and that's a massive amount of pounds per square inch that's pushing against these pipes coming up out of the ground. So who's to say that you know, as it continues to dry or when it gets wet, it's not going to push those pipes? So you might be, going, you might be asking, it's still going to move, but it won't. And the reason it won't move, here, let me show you. So that pipe, helical, uh, it, it's drilled in to the bedrock, which here it's a, it's a limestone. And then like I had mentioned, it's welded to this, where my shoe's at, this I-beam. So these I-beams then, if we come up here and kind of see it, they're, not, they're going this way, but then they're also going all the way across. Once those are welded in, then Mike, you, like, there's no movement, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it can't go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, foundation, uh, like literal, like bedrock foundation, and then here, uh, I-beams. And 50% cheaper, so no movement, and then 50% cheaper of what it would have cost to do concrete here. If that's not useful, I don't know what is, but. 
So if you like this stuff, you like the information, you find it valuable, click the subscribe button. Also check it out, uh, Let It Be, two E's, Let It Be Family Farm on YouTube and Instagram. And uh, subscribe over there because uh, Mike and Amber and the fam are, are always doing cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Bless you in the name of Jesus. Bye.